Welcome back everybody, thanks to my amazing zookeeping in the previous episode I have unlocked the next part of the tutorial. It's the Madagascan Simian Conservation Project. That sounds like a highfalutin way of saying monkeys running everywhere. The Madagascan Simian Conservation Zoo is the culmination of Bernard Goodwin's work in the region specialising in simian breed and release programmes. I'd be very worried about the release element of that as well as championing and highlighting the diverse species of apes and monkeys. But never want to be complacent, Bernard now wants to see what you can do in this most promising of locations. <laughs> oh god, I hate to tell you this, Bernard, but I'm going to carry on on easy. Because otherwise, I think it could be a monkey catastrophe. Or ape chaos. I can't make an ape and monkey thing match up with a catastrophe word there. A ape saster, no. Monk I like monk catastrophe. Monk catastrophe sounds entirely accurate. Ooh, hello. This looks amazing. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work. Not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. True. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. Yeah, I won't have and done that. Of <laughs> Not states, on this level. I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're hilarious, Bernie. What do you think of Madagascar then? Uh oh. A bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by so taking a look at the red rough wow. lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Let's do it. Locate the highlighted area. I like the fact that we're still just on locate the highlighted area and it's directly in front of me. That works for me, I have to say. <laughs> this is superbly designed isn't it it's beautiful i saw food which is obviously quite important but look at all the water there were waterfalls as well wow i love this i can promise you i'm gonna muck it up that's the new world lamppost that's not the highlighted area oh, there we go in the rainforests of masuala that's in northeast madagascar they can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Borny and orangutans. <laughs> There's the lima things. They are so funny. As a kid, I used to call them the thing with a tail. Which, as you can see, is actually accurate because it is a thing with a... Don't put your ass in the... Honestly! <sighs> Can't take animals anywhere. Never work with children or animals. I fear you might be working with both on this one. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvellous creature. They're always a big favourite at any zoo they feature in. And they're also the biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Uh, oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information whoop. panel and go into the animal camera. Oh god, it's raging. It's raging. It's got the rage. Let's have a better look. Aren't they just incredible? No, oh, they look terrifying. Well, let's go and have a look see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Bonobos? Oh god, I'm just looking at trees at the moment. Cinematic camera. Oh, I see. That kind of tracks it. Okay. So, over here, in this huge circular oh, area. Dear. It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Collapsed? What? Wait, and what? Didn't you know it? One of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. I didn't know that they could escape. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. I was joking about the whole releasing thing. Right, um, habitat information panel. Is that 
Hang on. Habitat in an information panel. Uh, I've got a... I've got a habitat menu. Is that not what I need? What do we need? What do we need? Now oh, that one, right. Animals tab. animals tab. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Yes, please box them up because I'm panicking now. Box all animals. <gasps> Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo, but it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, Sharpish. Okay. Go into zoo the zoo section management. and then into the staff Aha. management area. Staff management area. You wow, there are a lot of menus of in this. In here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet. Well, I want the best one, don't I? Surely I want the, the very best vet that I can get. The best vet you can get. Security. Vendors. Well, there's a lot of vendors. Underneath vets. No, no vets. There's no vets. Hire now, a vet. Click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Preferably closest to the disaster right. area. Now let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alert to jump to the escaped bonobo. Okay, jump to the escaped bonobo. Oh god! It's gone for a snack. Are there people running away? Oh man! <laughs> and then click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Call the vet. So there's the thingy. Call vet. Oh. Oh, okay, that's the relief. <laughs> So while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. Head back over there. This is terrifying. As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. When was the last time you heard Select of a barrier, barrier collapsing in a zoo? This is, this is horrific. Take the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. Right, well, I know where barriers is. The only thing is... I don't seem to have much in the way of anything. And also, this menu thing overlapping is really hacking me off. But anyway, barriers. I've just got this one. Can you just use this one? I still haven't quite got this, have I? Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Yeah? Does that not connect up with... Oh. Oh my god. What am I doing here? There. I want it... Oh, I have to... Sorry, I've got to delete the broken barrier. Sorry, I didn't realise that was there. Delete the broken barrier and press delete. Oh, there's two... God, there's two lots. There's two lots of it. I'm jumping the gun. I'm trying to get my barrier in. When what I need to do is get rid of the rest of it. Is there more than one bit? No, it's just... It's just here. Is that part of it as well? Uh, no, that's a lamppost. Is it? Oh, God. I kind of feel like I've I've deleted the the broken barrier. Have I not deleted the broken barrier? Which other bit is broken then? Because I kind of feel like I've like I've deleted the broken bit, and now I'm in the path menu, and I don't want to be in the path menu. Is that not just a lamp? Is that not lamp post? It's not letting me delete that anyway. Okay, barriers are not my friend, are they? Press delete. I did press delete and all the little bits went. Hmm. What am I not doing correctly here? Because surely I don't want to delete the rest of this because then they'll all get out. <laughs> oh, that would be horrendous. Actually, that would be hilarious. Right, I've, I've pressed delete. I've pressed delete. There we, there we go. Ah. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. Oh, it needs an that extra bit. The bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. I haven't. I've okay, put my logs so in. Okay, so go into oh. the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Right, it's this. Cur curved barrier top. Climb proof. Left, right, both. Nicely done. And I think it's high time we unbox those bonobos, wouldn't you say? <laughs> the poor mites will get sad if we leave them in there for too long. The insta boxing the was quite funny. To bring up the habitat information panel again. Right. Habitat and then information open the panel. Animals tab. Animals tab. 
And finally, click on Unbox All Animals. Release the thingies. Out. There we go. I expect some of them are fair bursting for the toilet. Oh, I don't want to know. So, it turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. There's we'll a surprise. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. Okay, so if I go to the zoo... mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. That sounds exciting, to be honest. Right, section, I've done my thingies. And then into the staff management area again. I have. I've done it already. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. I understand now. That these are the people I already have. I thought that this was like the sort of staff market, of but it's not. These are people I already have. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly, I and more did. importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. They can do that. Now, anyway, what's it saying? Connect it to a path. A building where I want you to build the research center. Yes. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. Okay, if you that's the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Right. Okay. Research center Click to add then it to here. The building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. No, nope, that's First, tropical we'll rock eleven. First, we our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What? I'm so glad I did the tutorial on this. I'd be absolutely screwed if I hadn't. Okay, so, research centre. Yep, I've got that selected. Oh, I seem to have accidentally selected. Ah! That's why it's not doing anything. Right, okay. Then it needs to go here. Is that right? Make sure it's connected to a path. It's not saying anything about anything hang on a minute what the, what on earth have i done here i seem to have done something terrible which is fairly standard right am i right in saying i can rotate this i've got the right plate it is flashing on and off isn't it right here is already in an inner place ensure auto stacking is off to make placing the research easier auto stacking is very definitely off ah right there there yeah ah no that well that should fit that looks like it fits in there doesn't it oh god that makes sense because that's putting the building inside a thing that already exists auto stacking is is off because otherwise it goes on top like that and that looks like it would be connected to a path it says it's obstructed Oh god, this is the tutorial! This is the tutorial! What the hell? <laughs> Why can I not put it in there? That that blatantly fits. Oh man. Okay, I don't like Nancy, but she clearly knows a lot more about this than I do. Flatten terrain. Grid size, grid height, select grid. Auto stacking is off. Highlight hid hidden barriers. Put in there, surely. Put in th No. Put in there. <laughs> it just says obstructed. <laughs> oh man. What if I do it that way? Ah! 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 I thought that was the now front of it. It's not. It's the back of it. Right. New research center. Sorry. We can give That's me being stupid. Something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. No, let's not, because I can't even get a door on a path. Let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Lemurs! Go into the zoo section and select Vet Research. Vet Research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo. That's a lot and of animals. And also all the potential diseases that oh can my. occur. Oh my! What?! Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. My zoo's got the coronas! If actually, it's got pretty much everything but the coronas. Yikes! Okay, right, I need to find the, the lemurs again, then. Let's pick up Janet, who's not very good, and put her on the lemurs. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemurs' habitat. 
let's head over there and add some, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. Thing with a tail, First I think, off, is what you're looking for there, Nancy. Down two education boards. Okay. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or if you like, pop them down on a stand. Education boards. Lots of people here seem to want to know about lemurs, so where could I put it that would make sense? Like on on the wall? I don't quite know where that went. <laughs> Actually, I don't know where that went. I can't even see where I've put it. Oh, that's not good, is it? Right. Where am I, where are, if I put it there, where am I actually putting it? Okay. On now the floor. That they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. Okay. And that one. from the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Lemur. Is it put it on the floor? That last part was obvious. I've put it on the floor. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. I'm just experimenting with position snap because this feels like it should be the other way around. Well, it should be the other way around because otherwise nobody else is going to be able to read it, are they? But that's... What? I, I don't... Okay, I don't really understand that. Is there a... She said something about putting it on a stand. What I would like is to put it in a... Like, you know, like where you can just lean over it and read it. Because otherwise... Don't go away! I want you to read educational things! Okay, right. That still makes no sense whatsoever. But anyway... Turn on a line to service to make... Sorry, a line to surface to make placing boards easier. Yes. I, right, select an item. That one. Oh god. <laughs> I've screwed up really badly. <laughs> Align to surface. Yeah, but I don't want it to be on the floor, do I? How about there? Ah, is that kind of vaguely aligning to something? Are you aligning to something? Have you aligned to something? Right, educational content. Okay. Lemurs. Right. Now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Can I put one there? I can put one kind of on the gate. I can actually put one in the middle of the board. Are these two now placed together? Now we simply need to link no. the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. Just okay. like you did with the education boards. So if I go back and I get my speaker. Ring-tailed lemur content. And then... Where did I put the other one? Somewhere. I put it somewhere. Oh god, where did I put it? <laughs> it's actually really difficult to see where you put stuff. Oh, God. How do I find my my educational speakers? Because I have put two down. I think I, at least I thought I had. There's one there now. It's there. Lemurs! Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Oh! Oh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. I think I would rather do it Come by on, just clicking on the notification because that's rewards. much easier. <gasps> just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. This is a well, lemur. Now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, Thank you for coming to my zoo. Let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That oh, means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. What, climbing and you can out? fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. 
Let's find out how much more climbing space our Lima friends need, shall we? Okay, select so... Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Let's select a thing with a tail. Hello. Oh, I can't select it. It's running too quickly. It's trying to get out. Next, Are you trying to get out? There we go. On the terrain tab. Okay. Ah, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. <laughs> so you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. It's just as well that By you've way, already got it. By the way, it's not climbing <laughs> needs that you have to worry about. There we go, Lima. might need a certain amount of water in their habitat. Lima so they can climbing go for a swim. frame. Man, that thing's huge. They certainly do keep us on our toes. There we go. That is oh, an awesome climbing frame. climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? Food. Food is you good. You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. I am selecting the lemur habitat. I'm really terrible at selecting things. I, I just assumed by double clicking on it, I'd, I'd select now it. There we go. The animals tab. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. Just click on the drop down menu and select grade two food quality. Yeah, but that costs grade money. Grade two food quality. My mouth's already watering. Yeah, so is my spell. It costs money. So, right. a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. Yes, yeah, so we don't have to pay for their food anymore. When we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. I would imagine they one that doesn't bite people fertile. would be good as well. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild. So the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. Everything's They're vitally important. Zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. More and animals? The more the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. I'm way ahead of you because I now understand what okay. I need to do here. I'd like you to find Agung, the boy. I am releasing Agung to the wild. Him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel. I'm way ahead of you, Nancy. I've done the thing. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. You, was and he not happy here? Wonderful candidate for release, young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You definitely got potential, you know. Ooh, this is actually quite tough. Ah, <laughs> I see you've been doing some homework. Although it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. Thing with I the imagine tail. I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more algebra. Tortoises. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. Yeah, because this went really I well last time, didn't it? For our new exhibit. <laughs> How about we head over there? Let's head over there. She has marked a place, so she has. Oh, it's only it's only tiny. It's tiny. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research centre earlier. Then okay. pop it into the gap. Exhibits are here. Exhibit. Exhibit. Okay, now this time I need to make sure that I don't do anything stupid with it. Although that doesn't seem to want to go in there. Does it need to be, does it need to be that one? That's a small one. You see, th this one just looks like it fits in there, doesn't it? Is it, is it going in? It is going in. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a healer monster? Healer Open monster? The exhibit trading section and adopt one. What the hell is a healer monster? I don't want monsters. This is horrific. This animal is being adopted for cash. It cannot be released to the wild. So if it eats anybody, I'm in trouble. With habitat animals, we need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Send the healer monster to the exhibit. There. there we go. 
Ooh. When you send an animal what to an see? exhibit, it? it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. Okay. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. It needs to be hotter by the looks of things. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Click on the layout oh. tab. Well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked at the moment. Never mind. Well, let's, let's put them in anyway, yeah? At least one of them for the healer yeah. monster. Let's put all of them on. As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets do some research. Now, we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Yep, I'm way ahead of you. Here, you can see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cosy. The problem is that I actually can't see what it's doing. There we go. Right. So it needs it hot and dry. Yeah, that's, that's slightly irritating. Cause you can't quite see it. But anyway, right. That looks correct now. If anything, that looks a bit too correct. Yeah, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. I don't want my healer monster getting mad. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. Okay. You can edit and customise any of the windows on an exhibit. Uh -huh. A window can be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background or even a three-dimensional background on A three-dimensional background? Play around with the options. Oh, I see. So you can have There's bricks. There's also an exhibit education board. Or whatever. I quite like it being all glass, though. To teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. Okay, exhibit information board. I'm sure I'll get used to all of this. It's just, it's not that easy, actually. It's it's a little bit confusing. Right, so, a line to surface. The problem is that I end up with this again where, ah, oh, that, did that just go in kind of on the ground then? Hmm. Right there. So that people can trip over it. You're welcome. <laughs> This is like there. How about there? It looks like a bin. There? Just like the education boards and speakers we put oh, down for the ring tailed <laughs> The other one's all wrong. Hey, standing on it. Get off. Get off my monster. information board. Go on. Right, get get off. Get off. I've put that in the wrong place. Get off. Should be the other way up. There we go. Oh, it's glowy and shiny. How about there? There we go. Right, so Lovely make that stuff. the information now about the healer monster. About our venomous friend here. I've got monsters, why is everybody running right. away? Now, <laughs> oh, there we go. I've got a bit of a big job for you. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. <gasps> on, oh, God. Off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Oh, Lord. All right, okay. I, this is terrifying. So, are all my buildings kind of already empty? Are there certain places that I need to put them? To be honest, at the moment, I'm just a little bit distressed about the fact that I have monsters in my zoo. It doesn't look like she's suggesting anywhere in particular. So, the ex exhibits are really small, but also I've got to have 12 species. So, I couldn't have more monsters. I need to have other things in my exhibits. Right, okay, so. Did anybody remember any of that at all? <laughs> I know where the plants are and I know where the education boards are. Right, small animal exhibits. Thing is though, where are, where are you gonna put it? It is a bit um, seized up already, isn't it? And this is quite a big thing and I can't put it in there. So where about, where is there any space? For me to put stuff. I keep trying to put it in the animal bits. That's not a good idea. I can see places where possibly like you could put put them yeah, like like there. Do you see the path connecting? Like there. Is that okay? Is putting that there okay? View? 
Exhibit Animal Market or Request Exhibit Animal. View Exhibit Animal Market. Oh, man. Okay. We've got the Lesser Antillian Iguana. Or we've got the Goliath Frog. Or we've got loads more Gila Monsters. We've got the Giant Tiger Snail. Is that a snail? Hey, that's kind of cool. Let's have a Giant Tiger Land Snail. There we go. Can I have more than one? Do they eat each other? Asking for a friend. Giant burrowing cockroach. <laughs> I'm just wondering why it is that I could potentially release that one, but not another one. There we go. Should we have, should we have two? Because I can't imagine that snails would be very happy if they were on their own. Okay, so... This needs... It's got severe welfare issues, so this needs other bits. It needs to be less humid. Is that correct now? Yep, yeah, that looks pretty, pretty good. And... Oh, oh, I just increased the temperature by accident then. I didn't mean to do that. It's still okay though. And then let's give them some rock piles. I don't see why I can't give them all the rock piles. I don't understand why you wouldn't give them all the rock piles. And then this is still yelling at me. It looks okay. There we go. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, here, with the, here they come. Now, the, what they don't know is stuff about land snails. So, in facilities should be viewing devices and speakers and there's the little board not that there's much space for it what if i put it there instead would it go okay there everybody's loving the snails right pop it there and then try and select it in the middle of all these very happy people fighting to see the snails giant tiger land snail there we go there we go. Oh, God. There's a man in a Donny Darko hat. <laughs> Looks at things. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually a rhino. It's a rhino. It's just from the back. It looks like Donny Darko. Well, never mind. So the vet research is complete on something. Oh, on the lemurs. Okay. Well, that seems to have worked. I mean, they're loving that. They are loving that. So. Visiting player alerts. Visiting player alerts? Frederico Childs is in the area. I don't have enough money for gulpy energy. Well, that's not my problem, is it? Actually, it might be my problem if we don't have any ATMs. Oh, he's at the ATM by the looks of things. That's a lot of cues for the ATMs. But that's not what I'm supposed to be doing at the moment. What am I supposed to be doing? Right, objectives. Have at least 12 species. So I've got 10. I'm worried about the whole habitats thing because I don't feel like I've got enough room so should I just carry on with exhibits because me and exhibits seem to get on quite well this is all making it look nice isn't it food and water beds and shelters actually I hadn't thought about food and water for the snail things do they need food and water or anything else I'm sure I'll find out when they start dying anyway right here's another exhibit then so I know that I can attach them to the paths. I don't want to ruin the view of the of the thing, but I could put one next to the snails. This does seem to be quite a popular area. How about there? It's letting me put one in there. So up here, view exhibit animal market. I quite fancy those cockroach things or frogs. What else have we got? Nope, just cockroachy things, which I will never be able to get rid of. Oh, there's one there that I could potentially get rid of. Let's adopt that. Adopt a cockroach. Very nice. Very nice. But surely cockroaches don't want to be on their own, do they? I tell you what, cockroaches are cheap. There we go. Right, got a couple of cockroaches. Lovely. Now they will need it less 
hot by the looks of things. And also a bit less humid, but I know that cockroaches like it humid because I've seen them before. So there's my temperature and my humidity. And then if, I mean, cockroaches can survive anywhere, can't they? But what they really like is a nice hollow log. Should we get the camera onto the cockroaches? <laughs> That'd be pretty grim. Right, so now we need an information board about the cockroaches. All it will probably say is, this is a cockroach, but that's quite important. So, I can't actually now remember where, where it is. I've just seen special effects. Sorry, special effects. Special effect, dirt blowing. <gasps> falling leaves. Can I put, like, a falling leaf exhibit thing here? So that when you when you see the, the cockroaches... Leaves fall on your head. I mean, that sounds like a plan to me. Can I put it up there? Can I put it up there? Yes, I can. Oh, oh. <gasps> Look! Oh, I like that. I know it's not what I'm supposed to be doing, but... Now, when you look at the cockroaches, leaves fall all over you. <laughs> That's awesome! That's awesome. Right. Let's go back and get another exhibit, then. Where can I pop this? In my leafy area. All of this is a little bit too windy for me to be putting another exhibit in. I mean, this place is already amazing, so... Long here, connecting to something? No. How about here? This is quite sort of straight and... There, there, oh, there, there, there. It went blue, it went blue just for a moment there. I don't want to get into having to construct more paths and things because I will probably go insane. It does go... Oh, there! You get a little scared staircase down to it. In the trees. Okay. Can I take the tree away? Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What else do we not have that's cheap? The iguana thing. And the frogs. I want a frog. I won't be able to send the frogs back to the wild, but I don't care. Let's get them in. Right, frogs into there. And let's have another frog. Send in there. Should we have a third frog? <gasps> Breed frogs. <laughs> there we go pop those in there. Now they are going to need their temperature reducing, which is interesting because like you'd expect frogs to maybe not be so bad with the old temperature. But I also need to get rid of these palm leaves, to be honest, because otherwise we're going to end up in a situation of having people like not be able to see the damn things. Lay out 40%. Oh no! Environment level 1 not yet researched. <gasps> that means I need the vet. I need Buck Nesbit to research frogs. Was it Goliath Frog? I think it was Goliath Frog. I don't think I've got any other kinds of frogs. Their social health ain't too good. They have moderate social health issues. Oh no, the group size is too lot. Oh no! But I can't get rid of my frogs. I was explicitly told that I couldn't send them back to the wild. Oh no! I'm so sorry, frogs. I'm so sorry. I've done a bad thing. You might just have to live with it for the time being. Right, so. Objective-wise, have at least 12 species in the zoo. Have the frogs actually turned up yet? Because I'm sure that that was my 12th. Too many Goliath frogs for one habitat. Well, unless I put one in the bin. Everybody seems to be going, oh my god, look at the frogs. But you can never see them anyway, can you? Let's be honest. I don't know whether they've even brought them because I haven't seen any staff pop them in, so I don't know whether they actually have put them in there or not. Oh my god, why are you walking across- no! No, don't do that! Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Hold on one stinking minute, you can't do that! But neither can I give you a path, so get off my grass. That's not good, is it? Why are they doing that? Bloody idiots. 
I can't put extra path in there either, so they're just going to stomp all over my grass. Oh no. Right, it doesn't seem to have counted enough species yet. So, if I construct another exhibit somewhere, preferably somewhere where people can't walk off the path to see it. Around here somewhere? Hmm. I mean, ideally, I'd sort of want my exhibits all in one place. Or well, how about right up here? I'm just hoping to connect one to a path. This is uh, surprisingly, like, not that easy for me. <laughs> for you, you're probably thinking, oh my god, just do it, but... I can't see another place I'd want to put habitat other than maybe other than here. Is that what I'm supposed to do and then put a path across to it, maybe? I suppose I could give that a go. Um, it's terrifying, though, frankly. Habitat. Oh, all I've got is wood logs. So shall I put a small wall in and see, we'll see what happens? This could get nasty quickly. Like, really nasty. Because the thing about building a habitat is you end up having to put all of the other things... I'll just do a small one. There we go. Right, there's a habitat. And then I'm going to need a way for the keepers to get in. And that seems to want to connect to a path. So if I get log rounds path... Oh, bendy. Ooh, bendy. <laughs> hey! Sound like Nancy. Bendy path. And then connect bendy path across the water. Connect Bendy Path across the water. How easily done is this? Like, how easily can I connect it to to up here? How do I... How do I make it do a staircase? I don't want a staircase. I want it to connect up there, if that's... If that's okay. It's not okay. Uh-oh. I thought they would sort of automatically connect. And they aren't doing... Well, that's not great, is it? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no! path related issue namely that I'm an idiot oh, oh I can make it go up I can make it go further up I <laughs> definitely don't want that no 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 my god how did I create the staircase there's staff paths incidentally there's staff paths how did I no I don't want a oh lord yes delete delete it all just delete the... <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what I'm doing I've got path everywhere oh no no delete delete path Oh god, I'm having a path catastrophe here. I'm going to end up with people and I don't want people. Right, path. Okay. But what I want it to do... A line to, gr a line to grid sounds like a plan. Oh god, now I'm just deleting it all. Right, stop deleting it. Start building it. No, I don't... How do I get it to go down? I need... I need down! Oh, man. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. She hasn't told me how to build paths. That's the problem. I mean, I'm not blaming her. <laughs> oh, God. Should we just put another bloody exhibit in? Can I get an exhibit in on this path? You see, that... That... That sounds like a plan. Exhibit on the path? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Up. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Okay, right. Let's turn this into something else. What else can we have? These things. These things. Iguanas. There we go. Now their climate is too hot and too humid. So let's bring that down. And let's give them a better layout. I like the fact that that is very easily done. I seem to have quite a good research on the old iguanas. Right, so it still needs to be cooler. And it actually needs to be a little bit more humid. There we go. There we go. Right, I don't know how many iguanas you can have in one place. But... Oh god, they're, they're floating again. Why are you floating? That now that doesn't feel like my fault. The whole floating thing doesn't feel like my, my fault. That, that feels wrong and it says obstructive all i'm trying to do is connect the Arrgh! Arrgh! right i 
I'll come back to that later. Now, surely now, do I not have enough species? I feel like I have enough species. It still says I've got 11 species. Is this because I haven't got enough staff to put the animals in? Or what? Right, I've got bonobos, that's one. Orangutans, two. Cockroaches, three. Land snail, four. Gyla wants to five. Frogs, six. Hippos, seven. Iguanas, eight. Manadrill, nine. Lima, ten. Lots of lemurs. Oh, ten? Oh, man. Have I added things I already have? Is that what the problem is? This is horrific. Who keeps going, ooh, 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 ooh? Is it because she doesn't like them? <laughs> what I don't like is you going on paths that don't exist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at the slightest. I haven't got a clue. What are you whinging at? Oh, they've completed... More lemur research. Well, excellent. I'm so glad about that. <laughs> the lemurs are going to be so very, very, very happy. Is there an easy way of seeing how many species I've got? I mean, I would hope that if bonobos are in the bonobo area, I'd be, I'd be really concerned if they were anywhere else. Because we know what happens if they get anywhere else. Have I got enough keepers? Have I got enough people to put animals into the area? I, I don't know. Are these people just looking at nothing? They might just be looking at nothing, you know. There might not be any animals actually in there. Oh, man. This... Okay. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like an idiot. I kind of genuinely feel like I don't know what I'm talking about. It says I've got 11 species. But I don't feel like I have, and I don't know how to get any more in. If I go back to exhibit trading, can I tell which one of these I don't have? Price, filter, auction time. What I need is, you do not have this. Because I've got all of these, I think. Oh god, am I going to have to build another habitat? Because if I am, we're in major, major, major trouble here because I can't connect my paths. And they're not even walking on the stupid paths anyway, are they? Animal trading. Should I just throw some in? And just hope that it recognises it. And like, well, I'll just escape before they die. So what do I not have? I need a list of things I do not have. That would be really, really helpful. I know I've got bonobos. And I know I've got lemurs. Do we? Ha I don't think we have tapirs. I don't remember seeing tapirs. So if I send them to the zoo, I could throw them in with the lemurs <laughs> and cause absolute chaos. The problem is, of course, that they can't get to this area to put the tapirs in because there's no path to it. Habitat is empty. Yes, it is. Because the tapirs are hopefully going in there. But how do I... I'm, this is so ridiculous. How do you path it up? Ah! Did that just... Did that just connect then? Do I have to... Do I have to drag it? Did, did you... Nope. How do I... Get, what I want is... I want those two... Strangely enough, I want those two things to connect. <laughs> I, I, I seriously, what the? Why? What? <laughs> Why does that not drag to? Did did that just? No, it didn't. Oh, damn it! I thought I'd cracked it then. That looked like it connected just briefly. I know, I know, viewer, that this sounds so ridiculous, but how do you get a path to just connect? You see that? I can drag. That looks like. Am I, was I dragging it up then? No, I was just dragging it across and around. <sighs> oh my god. Right. Do you know what? I've been struggling this, with this long enough. How do you just connect a path? 
because right now I like in other games I can just connect paths because I'm it's not stupid why would you not just connect oh lord I seriously right don't I don't want this this bridge has been going too far right I want that to connect to that what what on... what <laughs> just okay right well okay Snap alongside barriers, railing on ground path, use T-junction with joining path. Path! I just want you to path! I just want you to connect that to that! Shift? No? That? No? Oh! <laughs> I can't, honestly, I just... Right, I'm gonna leave it here. Because I feel like a pillock. Please tell me in the comments how I go about connecting path to path because I genuinely feel like a total prat that I can't get that to connect to connect I've connected it I've, conne I've, I've connected it I've connected it I don't know how I did it it looks ugly as sin but I have a nice curved path down to here now well that's something that's good it is definitely connected. I'm amazed that the guests are not prattling about. But right, what I want then, I want me to piers in here. To piers in here. I have already asked them to put the to piers in here. Are there any more to piers? Because I kind of feel like one to pier is never enough, yeah? Beds to pier. Yes. To pier. To here. Delivery scheduled. Good. Did that just say cannot get at door or something equally aggravating? Because that all looks... That all looks... Right, you can get in it. What I can do is make that into a staff path and... Hooray! Hooray! Welcome! Get in there. Put the thing in the thing. My, my. Yes! You have been busy, haven't you? Result! Splendid! Yes! But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So, let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? I've already done it! And I've already done me, it, though! I mean you. Look, I've done it! Go on, get to it! I've already done it! It's like Pokemon, where you discover that you have actually lovely already done the thing. There. Yes! You should be proud of yourself! Yes! Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process! Amazing! And I didn't go insane! Well, actually, I did go insane, to be honest, but... Awesome! Awesome! Now, here's the other Whoa. one. Well, you certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. A wonderful <laughs> new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals' welfare I'm by enriching so their habitat. I don't know how, but I have. <laughs> Who doesn't love playing with a three-foot-wide soccer ball, huh? <laughs> I mean, other than professional soccer players. Right, what if I, I bung some sure trees in? Yes. So. yes! I yes, expect yes, yes. money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Plowing all those funds back into the welfare of the animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh -huh. As far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, it appears some other people have far less noble goals. Uh oh. Oh, I was just trying to replace that with glass. And that went really wrong. That's weird. I could, why could I not do that easily beforehand? I seem to have got barriers sorted out anyway. Oh, thank God. For, well, I'm so glad that I played the tutorial because I will tell you now, I would not have had a blinking clue. Look at them all standing intelligently looking over the fence. I would not have had a blinking clue. But now I have a blinking clue and my frogs are going to be happier now because I've researched them a bit more. Wow. Well, I'm sorry if you've play been playing this game for months and months and you're thinking, oh my god, Jenny, you're an idiot. Because I am. But I've done it. I've done the thing and I've just created a habitat without having a battle with the the uh, the barriers, obviously. <laughs> I have no idea why I had a battle with the paths. But also my bonobos are about to... No, I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see the mating... Oh, this is going to get me demonetized. 
and yet I can't tear my eyes away. Because I'm not quite sure what they're about to do, but I don't know that we necessarily want to see it, do we? They're just having a scratch. Well, that's okay. I can cope with them having a scratch. I'm more worried about them being about to mate. I think we might have we might have missed that. That's that that's good. That's good. I can see that they're not massively happy because they need more hard shelter. But I don't care anymore because I've done it. Thank God. Whoa! This is going to be a learning curve and a half, isn't it? A learning curve and a half. Look, the bono bonobos are expecting offspring. Well. All's well that ends well. And maybe I'll go off and have a faff with some paths. So that everybody can see my people without me going completely insane. My people? My animals? I know what I mean. No, lots of people viewing the animals. And they all seem to be happy about it. Are you happy, Ernie? Yes, he's happy. He's also a bit hungry. Well, maybe I'll put a food thing down here. Maybe I'll put a food thing down here, Bernie. It's just a thought. Oh, bins. Bins as well. Bins and security. You see, we haven't really been through any of this, have we? We could put cosmic cow ice cream or chief beef down here. And then you can have a look at the tapirs and you can buy some beef. And where do you think you're going? Mayra? Where where do you think where do you think you're where do you think you're going? You're supposed to be selling chief beef. What's wrong with chief beef now? No pow no power? Oh I'd forgotten all about power oh no. I'd forgotten about power. where the hell is power? Everything I do creates 17 other things to do. Anyway, right, so it's fine. It's fine. I will work all of this out and hopefully soon I will be doing really well. I'm going to get out of here before I make anything else wrong. Thank you for watching.